I want to show you how to do bond pricing and yield to maturity on the HP 12C financial calculator. Now, it actually has a function that computes price and yield to maturity. And you have to keep in mind that the calculator is programmed so that it treats the coupon payments as semi-annual, so twice a year. So you don't have to do any adjustment. You could also compute it using these time value of money function keys but then you're going to have to make adjustments for the coupon and the number of periods. This also works well when you actually have specific dates. For example, here I want to find the price of a bond on January 1st, 2016, and the bond matures on January 1st, 2021. That's five years. Now, if I set a five-year bond, putting in N equals five, or actually making it 10 for semi-annual coupons, would work well, but when you have a date like this, and it doesn't have to be exactly five years, obviously this is much more effective. So how do you put the information in? All right, it already knows that if, you, if you're if you gonna use the uh, bond pricing function, so here it's price and YTM, and this is under this little heading of bond, You um, it treats it as a par value of $100. So let's put the information in and see what we have here. So we want to put in the yield to maturity, and we use the um, time value of money interest key here, I, to put in the 6%. You do not have to do the adjustment and make it um, a semi-annual rate by dividing by 2. As far as the coupon, it's a par value of $100, so 4.75% would be $4 and 75 cents so you'll put that into PMT you don't have to put in anything for FV because it treats it as a hundred and then you put in the dates so you put in the dates as 1.01 one two zero one six enter and then the uh, maturity date I'm sorry clear that one dot oh one 2021 and then you hit the function key and price and you get a price of $94.66.86 per $100 of par value. Does it make sense? The interest rate went up and therefore the bond price should be below $100. Now if you wanted to do this using the time value of money function keys you could also do that but you have to make some adjustments here so I picked these dates so it was exactly five years so I'm gonna clear everything so now the number of periods is 10 it's five years but 10 semi-annual periods um, the payment is gonna be 4.75 divided by 2, so that's 2.375. You're going to have to put in the par value is 100. And you're going to have to put in the interest rate, or the yield to maturity, as half of what you had before, so that's 3 and we can compute the um, price of the bond and we get the same thing 94.668 okay a little more tedious and actually again if you have dates this is much better all right let's do a yield to maturity calculation same approach okay I'm gonna clear my workspace here um, I'm going to use the same dates, January 1st, 2016. The bond is selling for a price of $101.25. So 101.25. You do not have to make it negative in this case. You just put it into present value. It has a coupon rate of 3.5%. Okay, which means that the coupon is um, three dollars and fifty cents so that goes into the PMT you don't have to put in anything for the future value because it treats it as a hundred dollars par value and you put in the dates the same way you put in the first date one dot oh one 
2016 enter and then 1.012021 right putting in the date and then you just hit the function and calculate YTM and we get 3.227 percent again the in this case the bond is selling for above its par value, so we know the interest rate or the yield went down. If you want to calculate it using the um, time value of money function keys, you have to make all the adjustments and then remember to multiply by two because you happen to be calculating a semi annual rate. All right, let's see if we can do that here. So in this case, the price of the bond is 101. 0.25 but you have to change the sign you have to make it negative here for the price for the present value 100 is the par value so that goes in future value the coupon is going to be a dollar 75 per six month period and there are 10 six month periods here so n and we can compute the interest rate here and then um, enter and multiply it by two and we get the same thing 3.227 percent so um, this is a useful function you may want to know especially if you're given dates and again the dates don't have to necessarily be exactly five years or six years or ten years so it could mature on you know June 1st of 2021, in which case it makes the calculation more difficult if you have to sort of figure out the fraction of a year.